Hey guys, so last night I watched the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight. Uh, just thought I'd come and, and uh, kind of give my thoughts about it. Um, yeah, you know, I think a, um, a lot of people have the same uh, thoughts about it as I did. Um, well, you know, we thought that it was, you know, uh, staged. Um, rigged or however you say it um and you know i um first off when jake uh entered the uh the way when he when he came in the arena or whatever on that vehicle with his brother um although it was really really cool uh, it was like it was some kind of like parade or fashion show, uh, that they were on, and it was just like, wow. So that was a little interesting. But then, uh, you know, but then you know, Mike uh came in and uh, he seemed to be um strong, but he seemed to be tired, uh, very tired, and um, so I thought that was interesting, um. I, in fact, when I saw Mike, um, when I saw Mike's face, when he came in, it just didn't seem to me like he, his, he had the face of, of, you know, let's do this, let's go. It was like, what, what did I agree to do <laughs> type deal? And, um, Man, you know, at that point, I was like, uh-oh. And then, um, so then when they got to the ring and the match started, um, I, I mean, they, they barely, they barely hit each other. And, you know, um, and, and at very short rounds, and, um, they, they did a lot of, like, you know, you know, uh, bouncing around and dodging and, avoiding each other's hits, and then, um, you know, and then the round was over, and it was over, on to the next round, and, um, I don't know, I, it just seemed to, um, and then, you know, you had the ref there, and, um, God, he seemed to constantly, like, be, like, almost in it, um, like, almost in the, the, you know, like, he was just, like, in the way. I felt like he kept, like, he needed to, like, back off and let them, you know, do it. I felt like he was just constantly, like, you know, right there. And now, um, I have seen, of course, I've seen Mike Tyson's, um, fight, uh, you know, clips, you know, of, of past years, like, in the 90s or whatever. And when he boxed, he always did, like, a, a jet, like a jab to the, the torso or a uppercut, uh, or he did like a, a, a jab to the torso and then a jab to the face and then bam, the opponent usually went down. And, um, Mike, I remember seeing it this time, Mike did do a jab to the torso like once and he got like, you know, scolded for it. And I was like, what? You know, because that's, that's how he, you know, that's how he fights. So, um, it, I don't know. To me, it, it seemed like, you know, um, they both, uh, kind of held back. I, and I, I felt like, um, and I know a lot of people, a lot of other people are saying this too, that, um, you know, they, they wanted, uh, Jake to, you know, to win all along, like, um, it, it, this whole thing was meant for Jake Paul to win against, uh, you know, Mike, uh, regardless of, of the, you know, how good, uh, Mike still is, or, or, um, uh, and, and it, I don't know, I, I'm just, you know, I stunned and confused as a lot of people, and then, you know, and then they, they, uh, pretty much, you know, I think Mike got a few hits in there, and then Jake, you know, he got a, a few hits, um, and, uh, yeah, and then, you know, Mike's, uh, legs, uh, were not, uh, in his favor, uh, which was hard to see, um, but, you know, I mean, 
it was what it was, and, um, but, you know, I mean, Mike, uh, you know, he knows, uh, you know, what he has accomplished, he knows, uh, his career and, and what he's done for the boxing world, and, and he knows that, um, you know, he's, at the end of the day, he's still the, uh, heavyweight, uh, champion, or, or, you know, of, of the world, and, and, uh, I, I, I love watching his podcast, uh, I watch his, his, uh, podcast show all the time, uh, the things he says, uh, he's incredibly, uh, inspiring, always has been, uh, and, and always will be, he's, he's a legend, and, uh, you know, he's, he's a boxing legend and, and I think he can relate to a lot of people, um, even outside of boxing. You know, he can relate to people on a emotional level, uh, at a, um, like, uh, you, you know, like he knows what it's like to go through hard times and, you know, he had a really rough life and a lot of people can relate to that. Uh, with being, you know, picked on and being, you know, and, and honestly, I felt like he was kind of a little bit picked on, picked on, uh, that night. Um, you know, he wasn't allowed to, to do certain things. And, uh, there's also some, some, uh, rumors or uh, speculation or whatever in the media and, and, and by people that, um, you know, he, he basically, uh, that somebody told him that if, uh, he didn't let, you know, Jake, uh, win that he wasn't going to get paid at all. Um, so we were all just like, you know, what, you know, and of course, um, as, you know, as it went on, it kind of was like, oh, wow, like, it kind of made sense that that is probably true. Uh, you know, even, you know, there was another one of my favorite boxers, uh, uh, from years ago, um, uh, Butterbean, uh, even he, he said, uh, that too, that it was, it was all staged and everything, and, uh, and, yeah, it, it just, yeah, it was, uh, definitely painful to, to see, but, uh, you know, if it wasn't for Mike Tyson, Jake, uh, Jake Paul, who knows well he, he would have, uh, you know, uh, been, in, you know, um, that night or whatever. But uh, I, I am a fan of Jake Paul, and I'm always and will be. I always have been, and always will be. A, uh, still a fan of, of Mike Tyson as well. So I guess you know that's just the boxing, uh, the, the boxing world, and and it, you know it's, it's confusing to to people that don't understand it and people that don't live in that world, and um, yeah, it, it was what it was. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, thanks for listening.